Bradley Metrock, CEO of Project Voice, This Week in Voice Daily, another This Week in Voice Daily for Wednesday, July 21st. Today, a virtual event called Alexa Live is taking place. Uh, this is Amazon's virtual event showcasing for primarily developers, but also uh, necessarily executives and other people working with voice, all the new things that Alexa can do, new wrinkles, new features, new partnerships, new, 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 um, a bunch of stuff um, showing off the, the growth of the ecosystem. It's a cool event. Um, and this is the third year in a row they've done it. So they put out a piece of content uh, 11 reasons why you should check out Alexa Live 2021. And one of these is watch the all new Alexa startup showcase and get inspired by successful startups. Hear from founders at Climber, Indel, Ohm, Span, Sentient, and Voiceflow and how they're innovating with Alexa. So all six of these companies, I believe, have received money from the Alexa fund, uh, which could have been mentioned there, but uh, they're showcasing them and all six are interesting. So I thought, you know what? Let's take a look at them and decide for ourselves if they're interesting or, or not. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's start with Climber. So the first company that's mentioned there is Climber. Uh, this is exactly what it looks like. It's a piece of exercise equipment um, that combines cardio with strength training. Uh, it keeps you vertical um, and has all these different exercises um, where they, and they really preach, you know, uh, synthesizing multiple types of exercise at once for efficiency purposes, but also protecting your back too, which I can appreciate. So with each one of these um, startups, I went and found what I thought was the best video on YouTube talking about the startup for Climber. They were on the Today Show earlier this month. I'm going to play this video. We decided to work out together. Me on my usual walk and Marco on a vertical climber he created with business mogul and star Jay-Z. So Jay-Z, in addition to Amazon, uh, the Alexa Fund is an investor, but Jay-Z is an investor as well. Hi, Marco. Hey, Al, how are you? It's a little warmer where you are. Just a touch. I'm on Climber, which is the world's first connected vertical climbing machine. I'm actually burning 60% more calories per minute than any other machine on the planet. So this is this is a bit of a mixed bag for me. First of all, they're on the Today Show, which is incredible eyeballs. Uh, so that's, that's in the plus column. In the minus column, he says, I'm on Climber, but you don't really understand is he on a climber? Like, is that the name of the piece of equipment? Like the, the Today Show kind of messed up here. They should have put the name of the product uh, on the screen since it's weird with vowels missing and all that um, because you want people to be able to find it who see this. Um, as, as I watch this, it's unclear to me the, the linkage, if there is one between this video and and sales, I think people are going to look at this and say, hey, what a cool piece of equipment. Are they going to be able to go find it when they want to? I'm not certain. The other thing is, this, it comes off as very corporate. It's not bad. It's not good. It's um, all in all, it's great to be on the Today Show, but you can see what you think about this. One of the most important things is that our back is not compromised when we're exercising. So for folks who you know don't have equipment uh, and they are looking to start getting some sort of fitness regimen going, what do you recommend? Just get moving. What you're doing right uh -huh. now is the easiest thing that anyone can do. Put some sneakers on, get outside and move. Your heart's activated, your brain's activated. You start to increase your range of motion, which as we get older is incredibly important because it reduces our risk of injury. So get moving, no matter what you do. Everybody start. I will say this, it makes this piece of equipment look good. I'm gonna go back. Um, this piece of equipment is out waterside. Um, the guy's using it. He's still able to talk. Like he's obviously, um, not only in shape, but, uh, experienced using the piece of equipment to be able to kind of manage that. 
um, this makes you want it. So from that standpoint, it's great. To increase your range of motion, which as we get older is incredibly important because it reduces our risk of injury. So get moving, no matter what you do. Everybody starts out with best intentions. How do you make sure you keep going? Let's set goals that are attainable and then let's create a roadmap on how we're gonna achieve those goals. That's number one. Number two is find the workout buddy, someone who will hold you accountable. It could be something as simple as what you and I are doing right now. FaceTime a friend as you walk through the park. Thanks so much for the inspiration. I'm gonna to try to go a little further each day than I did the day before. Fantastic, always great seeing you. All the best. So it's a little impersonal, you know, you can nitpick with these things, but the bottom line is this startup got on the Today Show uh, and got their equipment on the Today Show for a solid 90 seconds. So that's a win. Don't get me wrong. Uh, could other things have been better? Sure. But uh, so climbers in the win column with their YouTube video that I, I saw, and this is the best one. They've got some other ones, but this is not only the most recent, but the best one, in my opinion. The next startup uh, that's part of uh, Alexa Live is called Indel. Uh, and I assume it's Indel and not Indel. I really don't know. Um, what these folks do is, and as it says on the screen, personalized soundscapes to help you focus, relax, and sleep, backed by neuroscience. So backed by neuroscience, yeah, okay. Um, but I love the idea of, and I've thought about this from the beginning with voice, is um, can you uh, use voice assistants and smart speakers, voice technology and whatnot, to create better environments that sharpen your mental acuity or that foster other outcomes. And the very the first insight into this was actually the, the first Alexa fund uh, company period novel effect. Um, their, their entire business is creating soundscapes uh, with an educational context uh, purely in mind. So here's another one of these. And, um, you know, I've seen Brian Romley talk, you know, if, if the folks at Indel, Indel don't know Brian Romley, uh, they, they should, because Brian talks a lot on Twitter about um, the right types of sound to encourage and to, to optimize our productivity, uh, both the volume as well as what it is. And he's all into that. And I think it's a fascinating area to deliver products within. And that's exactly what this company is doing. Uh, I'm not going to play this whole video, but on YouTube, they've got some videos of some of their soundscapes. Um, this gives you an idea of what this company delivers, um, regardless of modality, smart speaker, mobile app, whatever it is. The thinking factor is the servant of the larger mind, which doesn't need to think. So right off the bat, I'm interested. So I, I, I sort of dismissed the line on the website backed by neuroscience. Anybody can always see anything, right? Like that doesn't necessarily mean anything to me. I would find really interesting. They uh, Somebody made a decision on dots and lines connecting and curved worm looking things across the screen and whatever the volume level is and the length of this video. I would love to see a companion video to this explaining why they made the decisions they made, maybe like a commentary video, you know, like you see with DVDs and whatnot, where you, like a director's providing commentary over the top of the film. Something like that would be cool here just to understand, hey, here's why we made this decision. Here's why we made this decision. Here's something that we didn't do that maybe you'd find interesting. Just a thought.
Okay, so that's about a minute of that, which is all I really wanted to play. So there's 10 minutes of uplifting sounds and words to help you feel present. I watched a minute of it. I can't disagree. Very calming, um, kind of brings you mentally front and center. Um, I don't understand the first bit of science behind it, but uh, I can't dispute anything that they're saying. I'm fascinated by this company and interested to watch them. I think it's a great addition to the to the list and, and just to include with uh, Alexa Live. Ohm Kitchen is the third one. So what this, com this company does something very simple. They create smart knobs for kitchen appliances. So basically what you do uh, is you, you have appliances in your kitchen, you go to Ohm's website, which um, we're looking at here and you buy some knobs, you take the knobs off your current appliances, you put ohm knobs on, and you can then control them uh, ostensibly through Alexa, uh, that's unclear, but through a mobile app and through other sort of smart device IoT type of ways. Now, when I went to look at YouTube videos for ohm, all they had is one under their account, and as you're about to find out, it has no sound. So and there was no other videos. So I'm including this video. It has no sound. I, I don't think that's the most positive statement on this company I could envision, but I'm going to play it anyway. So you saw that knob turning well, with no one turning it. And here's their mobile app. So these knobs weren't the original knobs with the appliance. Ohm sent them to the buyer who installed them. And now they can do these things with this mobile app. Um, and like I said, presumably uh, Alexa uh, at some point in the near future. So there's our video with no sound. Okay, so um, good company. Uh, need, to, need to address that obviously. Fourth company on the list, Span. This company I'm really intrigued by. They, uh, you know, everybody's got electric panels in their house uh, with circuit breakers or fuse box or whatever it is. Um, and this company said, you know what? I bet we can do something better with that and created this product. And uh, <clears throat> basically you can combine it with a battery um, a generator basically, and have really a nice level of control over how your home uses electricity, monitoring the metrics of the consumption, but also when you're in a situation um, where maybe you're without power, prioritizing what devices get power, what devices don't. And you can do it all through this very uh, nice mobile app that they put together. Um, this company has a number of videos that are on YouTube. Again, I went and selected what I thought was the best. Here it is. Meet Span, the smart electrical panel redesigned for clean energy homes. Because every day, more of us are choosing to power our lives with clean energy, transitioning our homes to power that's renewable and reliable. But the standard electrical panels found in today's homes are out So important to note, you know, it's it's sort of it's a it's I guess it's a West Coast mindset. You know, they're they're promoting the product with sustainability out front and center. And there's nothing wrong with that. But whether you care about that or not, this product has a lot to offer. It's a total re reimagination of something that is in every house almost in America. And um, yes, it lets you be more responsible with your energy consumption. Um, but it's going to help you save some money too. triple bottom line. Um, we'll come back to that. Dated. They weren't designed for solar, home batteries, or electric car charging. The Span Smart Panel lets you intuitively control your home energy and simplifies your path to future upgrades making it easier to get powered by the sun. Span lets you see where your power is coming from and what's using energy, giving you the full picture of solar, battery, grid connection, and everything your home powers, with insights to make energy management easy. 
and a simple way to manage your power with controls, whether you're at home or away. Protecting against power outages. Span transforms how you can power your home. Paired with the home battery, Span lets you see how much backup time you have remaining and automatically manages home loads to extend your reserve power for what matters most. All based on backup priorities you choose and can update anytime, giving you flexibility and peace of mind. Future-proof your home with Span, your bridge to clean energy. I want this. <laughs> I like this product. I think it's great. I think it's really cool. Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, this, I only chose one video. You might watch this video and say, Hey, if I don't have a Tesla with a, or charge my electric car in the garage or have a higher end home, uh, maybe this isn't for me. Um, when that's not really the, the gist, I, I think that there, this product as it stands has a lot of customers. Um, and you know, there's no discussion of the price in here. Um, they could play with that as well. There's all sorts of stuff with rebates and some interesting economic model sort of things they could do um, to open the doors for this for more people. But none of that's explored here. You just see the product and, uh, and it's a good one. The fifth company that's part of Alexa Live is called Sentient. And what this company does is they make processors. So they make chips um, for, you know, for computing. And these chips have functionality to where uh, they're able to be always on and able to support voice and have voice technology and conversational AI built in from the ground up. This is cool. You can tell from the website, you know, to me, it, it screams techie, um, you know, like a, you know, like a fab might have a website, you know, like with the, this very scientific, like this is not marketing, uh, you know, this is not mainstream marketing pros here. This is, uh, hey, let's get to the point for people who care about silicon uh, and processors. And uh, it's cool to see Amazon work with a company like this um, when a lot of other things they've done with the Alexa fund uh, are not this technical and, and hardcore, uh, hardware, you know, hardware uh, related. Um, but uh, this is an important part of the voice and AI value chain. And it's cool to see them um, honoring that here. So I looked at several videos for Sentient. Um, you know, there's, there's, uh, there's a few that are out there. Uh, this is one that Intel Capital obviously put together for them. Um, I think it's a good one. I'm going to play it. My name is Kirk Bush. I'm co-founder and CEO of Sentient. We're building a new type of processor to really bring deep learning to always-on battery-powered devices. With Sentient's technology and our intelligent voice, we believe that voice is the next interface. And right off the bat, having Intel and Intel Capital be part of Sentient, that's a big win. Um, you know, it's name recognition wise, Intel is at the top of the food chain, I would say still, you know, you got NVIDIA, maybe some other AMD, but um, having Intel and this video start with Intel's name, it just automatically, it doesn't even matter almost what he says from here on out, it, the credibility is established. And with our technology, we can put a voice interface into just about any type of device, as small as a hearing aid to as large as a laptop. Most of the voice interfaces today are really brought to you by the larger companies, the Googles, the Amazons. What we've done is we've collected the data, we've trained the algorithms, and we're offering a full feature to any type of customer that wants to bring voice to it. And because it's a new architecture drawing only 150 microwatts, you can add a voice interface to something with little power, little cost, and no impact to battery life. So he basically, he walks right on up to the anti big tech argument and then he doesn't make it. So I, that's, I guess that's kind of nuanced, but um, you know, he's right. You want to play in this sandbox, you're dealing with big tech. So come on over and find out what I'm talking about and what we have, to, what Sentient has to offer. I think that's, but then they're backed by Intel, you know, and, and Amazon. So it, um, I don't know. I don't quite know what to make of that. Let's keep going. 
So sentient's value is really around a new type of processor for deep learning. And deep learning is different from traditional compute in really three ways. It's memory dominated while traditional compute is very much logic dominated. It can benefit greatly from parallel processing. And lastly, it can benefit from modest precision. So during my lifetime, we've gone from eight bits to 16 bits to 32 to 64. And really that's good for traditional compute, things like windows and so on. But for deep learning, you can do things that are sub eight bits. This translates to a value for the customer that they can bring a voice interface locally in the device where they typically would see in the cloud. And once you put it in the device, you greatly increase privacy, you greatly increase responsiveness, and you greatly increase battery life. <clears throat> there it is. So what more is there to say? I'm going to cut the video off there because uh, basically that hits it right on the head. Um, and the privacy part, um, I think, is what's going to win him business and win sentient business. Um, as we talked about on this channel, the mood toward big tech is hostile. And not everyone's going to know who's on his cap table. I don't think it's that, you know, because the Alexa fund is one of several investors. Does that mean that somebody thinks uh, they're not, uh, you know, the privacy can't be a core part of their value proposition. I, I don't think that's going to be the case. I think that these folks are onto something. And just the way that he even described the evolution of chips and how voice sits in that, and it's not necessarily needing a super expensive processor to be out on the edge as opposed to on the cloud. Um, it's just it's just well done, and I I agree with the entire premise that somebody's going to be a big winner doing this right here. It could be sentient. Good addition to Alexa Live uh, and uh, these six startups. The last one here is VoiceFlow. Now we know these folks well. Uh, VoiceFlow, um, what they do is basically create tooling that allows you to design and prototype voice experiences and chatbots. And not only are they really, really good at that, but they're among the best I've ever seen at any size company in cultivating community. And they've done a phenomenal job. It's why we've partnered with them to the extent that we have, the large extent that we have through the Project Voice event and with Project Voice X in October. Um, they're, they're on it. Uh, they've got a great management team. They've got a great culture. Uh, these things don't happen naturally. Uh, they happen by force and, and through, through intentional, you know, being intentional about it. And so even before we look at a video, they're a leg up. They, they're, they're doing a lot of things right that position them for success. Now, I took a look at, they've got a ton of videos because they produce a lot of content. I took a look at one that's fairly recent, this is from February. It kind of captures what these folks are about. I'm gonna play it here. So this video is showing a number of different voice and chat scenarios. And it's, it's showing you the value of voice flow and what voice flow can do without saying a word. Um, and the music it's building the whole time. I, I, I like this video. Do you have more details about your 
That's a good video. That's a real good video. So voice flow, um, great addition, uh, last but certainly not least out of the six companies that Amazon listed for Alexa Live taking place today. So that's it. That's the rundown. These six companies, um, Amazon's got a great track record. Uh, however it is, they look at companies, they do a good job um, at, at picking winners. And it doesn't mean everyone's a winner, uh, but they do, they've got a good hit rate. And that's why, among other reasons, it's good to pay attention to them. Um, Alexa Live is today. Um, it's probably going on right now. So you can check that out. This video, video will be uploaded shortly. Um, but long after it's over, these six companies will be good ones to watch. For This Week in Voice Daily, thank you for watching. Until next time.